Hello, I'm Frank Fellers, the owner of Fellers. This is Mold and Hold, really unique product. Uh, very glad to have it here at Fellers now. I've got Justin Pate, that's the owner of Rap Institute, world's leading rap trainer, and you just do a lot of videos and things uh, that are very helpful for rap installers. Thank you. This, this mold and hole is really unique, Justin. Tell yeah. me why we, we need to have this in our wrap tool chest also. You know, I mean, in the, on the market for years has been a product, you know, 3M sells edge seal tape, but that kind of holds the edge right. on critical areas like bumpers and stuff like that. A few years ago in the Netherlands, I was working on a job and uh, they're doing a lot of fleet wraps. They're using calendar film. They were, calendar film's great, but on certain sections like mirrors, it was failing a little bit. What the installers would do is they would kind of cut back the film on the edge a little bit and use black matte and it looked like it was part of the molding and it kind of held the material, but there's a company in Brazil called Altac, and they have a material that looks just like plastic on the, the ahar, the textured plastic. So what they started doing is they developed this product so it holds the material and it looks like the molding on the car. So, oh my God, you can wrap mirrors, instead of the peeling on the mirrors that's really common, you could put mold and hold so it looks like it's part of the car, and there's a ton of different uses for it on the vehicle. So for me, this is a game changer because it allows the installer to wrap with durability and it looks like it's part of the car. Great combination. So for me, my durability goes up, happy clients, and a lot of times clients don't even see it on the car, which is a really cool thing. So gotcha. awesome stuff. And so, so I'm going to show stuff from the Wrap Institute. And even on your car, we just wrapped your car with the highlight yellow, which is really cool. Show your clients and your customers where to use it and how to, it saves a lot of time and money. It's cool okay. stuff. So it's kind of like an edge sealing tape, but yep black and textured to really help you in the install process. 100%. Yeah. To make a, a better job. Better, better job, up. exactly. Great, Absolutely. thank you. No problem. Here's a nice close-up of textured factory molding found on most vehicles and how mold and hold matches it both in color and texture. When used for mold and hold can be found on gas tanks. First, you can wrap the inside portion because commonly this comes up short when you cut on the gas tank side. So start your overlap at the top Make a 360 degree turn and now you got full coverage and looks like factory molding on the inside. You can also use it on gas caps that have a wide edge there. It can be difficult to wrap in one piece so you cut it to the top edge and then start your strip of mold and hold, this time at the bottom so the client doesn't see it so when then from the side the original paint is hidden and it looks like factory molding, professional and clean. A notoriously difficult area to wrap on vehicles is underneath the headlights if they cannot be removed, especially if it's a white vehicle. So what you can do is once you cut the film to the bottom of the light and then tuck it under, as it comes up short, as you can see, it's a white vehicle, you carefully and methodically put a strip of mold and hold under there so it's a nice symmetrical line. But now it looks like the bumper matches it nice and clean, super easy. A very good place for mold and hold is on the backside of fenders on the vehicles, especially if you have a severe compound curve. The film can be overstretched in these areas, which could fail over time. So what you do is you put a strip of mold and hold, half on the film and half on the paint. This not only holds it on the vehicle, but if it's a white vehicle, once you close the door, it looks like a shadow inside, so you get actual full coverage there, nice and easy without having to wrap the main panel deeper inside the body. Another good spot for mold and hold can come on white cars in between the doors. This is a hard gap to get full coverage on. It can take a lot of time if you want to wrap the material farther inside the car. So all you do is cut off the material as normal on the door side, Fold the material in and then put a strip of mold and hold, you get looks like a shadow, nice and easy. Where mold and hold really comes into play though is on big compound curves. This one is on the bed cover of Frank's Ford Raptor and this raw fiberglass underneath so you can't wrap the material on so it's notoriously difficult to make sure it stays on the edge on that compound curve. So you cut it away about an eighth of an inch from the edge and then you come back with mold and hold. Mold and hold is going half on the painted surface and half on the film. This not only holds the film and keeps it from failing, but also matches the factory molding on the actual bed itself. So again, you're getting the beauty of holding the film, especially on this compound curve, but of also creating it and matching what's actually originally on the vehicle. So again, nice and easy, straightforward, but this holds it for the long term. And mirrors with their compound curves and plastic surface are notoriously difficult to wrap for the long term. So what you want to do when you're prepping the mirror is run knifeless tape in this instance, just on the edge of where the factory molding is. Wrap the mirror and then cut that material away so you have a clear gap. Then what you want to come back with is mold and hold, half on the paint, half on the film. And again, if you match it up with the original molding on the car, you don't have to go back and trim that edge. Always when you put the mold and hold on, go back and just seal it down nice and clean and tight with heat gun. But again, it matches the actual original factory molding on the car and it holds the film. So this is perfect for long-term durability. Mold and hold is very good for problem solving. 
notoriously difficult area to wrap with good cutting is around antennas. So if it comes up crooked or short there, what you can do is come back with mold and hold, start at one point, and then carefully wrap it around so you have even symmetry. But again, this looks like the base of the antenna, so it matches and looks symmetrical and a great way to solve those problems that are often common, especially if it gets water underneath the antenna, hard to cut on clean. You can also use mold and hold after a mirror has been wrapped, and if it's been wrapped to the edge and starts to peel, you can put masking tape on the edge and carefully, if you have good knife skills, cut the material that's been peeling away and failing. So once you cut it off nice and symmetrical, again, you have the gap of the original paint, come back with mold and hold, and then you can put half on the paint, half on the film. And again, this also saves quite a bit of time because then you don't have to reinstall the entire mirror. And again, it looks nice and professional and clean. Always make sure you use your heat gun to make sure you seal it nice and tight, especially to that gap in between the original molding and the painted mirror. Sometimes when you make a cut on a vehicle, it can be a little jagged. So instead of actually trying to trim that out on the body of the vehicle, which you can possibly cut, come back with mold and hold. Match the top line with the contour of the vehicle there. Pull it nice and even and straight. So again, you're quickly and easily hiding a jagged cut without cutting on the vehicle. Plus, especially this is a white vehicle and the side of the hood goes down deep from the side now, instead of looking white or jagged, it looks nice and clean and straight and looks like factory molding. Great combination.